Hello, everyone, and welcome to the now named Sunday Night Bites. Last week, I tried Bassmaster Fishing 2022 as a one-off silly night chill stream, and people loved it. They actually thought it was one of the more chilled, relaxed, interactive things I did in a long time, and they wanted more. I said, hey, we can do it every Sunday night if you want, and hence, here we are. First thing we should do, let's choose somewhere to fish. How about Chickamauga Lake? That sounds good. Chickamauga Lake. Sure. That way I can hear myself talk because the game music is way too loud. I don't understand why that music is so loud. It's just over overwhelming. So anyway, here we are, everyone. Two hours of interactive and chill fun. Sunday Night Bites. I was talking with my audience before I started recording. We have an idea. If I raise $100 in contributions on tonight's stream, I will put on a fisherman's hat. And what we're going to do is, since it seems like I'm going to do this once a week every Sunday night, if we continue to hit that goal every week when we hit the goal, I will add an actual fishing lure to the hat. All right? Now, this week, I don't have any because I just came up with the idea. But this week, oh, when I have my day off coming up, I'll actually go out to, like, a sports sporting goods store, and I'll look and see what they got. Of course, I'm not going to get anything expensive. But then again, you can get fishing lures pretty cheap. Keep in mind, we're going to be going for looks. We're not going to be going for effectiveness in the water, right? So, <laughs> All right, so anyway, without further ado, let's jump in, and let's see the lay of the lake. Shout out to Simon, who's giving me a dollar for the... Oh, it's raining. Oh. That'll be interesting. Simon took me a dollar for these, and only on PS4, PS5 is bundle of Castlevania Symphony of the Night and Castlevania Rondo of Blood in a collection. It's called Castlevania Requiem. It's $20. Okay. I, if I were to play another Castlevania game, likely it would be Symphony of the Night. I think... That's the next logical one to play, considering I played all three NES and then I played the Super Nintendo one, right? I've also played Castlevania, <clears throat> what was it, Bloodlines and the Genesis. So I think that makes sense that that would be the next one that I would play. All right, are you guys ready to head out here? So, let's do this. Let's head on out. I'm actually going to remember how to play this. Chukamugga Lake or whatever? What console is this? This is the Xbox Series X we're playing this on, because it's actually on Game Pass. And that's how I'm playing it, on Game Pass. Melvin, I I mean I really don't know about uh, I really don't know much about uh, Snow Carl. I don't know if he's, if he's really a troll or not, and that's why I'm not gonna make judgments about. <laughs> bookworm, I'm sure. The thing is, bookworm. I think what I would like to do is uh, what I would like to do is hand pick like a lure that I find and go from there. Oh, by the way, look, there's already fish here, so I think we should fish right here. Cool. So yeah, so like someone just said, oh, there's probably like a nice cheap bookworms. There's probably a nice cheap lure set you get on Amazon for the hat. You're right, but I'd like to actually like hand pick lures at the store and see what they got. Um, Captain DCW, I'm sorry to hear that. He did a super chat. Thank you for that. And he says he got hurt in a moped accident. He actually has a bone fracture. That's why he hasn't been around, but he wanted to be here for the fishing tonight. I'm glad you're here. Hopefully this will relax you a little bit. Because Lord knows I'm sure you need some relaxation if if you're in that kind of pain, man. <clears throat> Okay. Are you ready? The first cast of the night. Here we go. Ooh, it's a good one. 96. Here we go. So we let it sink. Oh, it's, the water is murky. Well, I wonder why this water is so murky. I see some fish in the background. You can see them. Whoa, I got a big tip. Thank you to Phil Smokes Crack for a giant tip here. Let me reel this in and then I'll, uh, I'll give a shout out to that. <clears throat> Big Meech says, can you build your own lakes in the game? That's a good question. I don't know the answer. I do not know. Yo, Chanel Lover, what's going on? Good evening. He says, I loved your closet marathon yesterday, and your classic games was awesome, and also the fan art and the new intro I had did for tonight for the show. Yeah, a lot of cool stuff going on here. Jasper, did you hear Cat's home? Oh, there's a giant fish. I was paying attention. Did you see it? There was a giant fish. I paid no attention to it. Son of a bitch. Hey, Jasper, that's cat. You want to go see her? You want to go see her so I can close the door? <laughs> Look at that fish right there. Oh, there's a lot of fish down here. Wow, there's a ton of fish. I think this is the most fish we've seen, right? All last week. I don't think there was this many fish. There's a lot of fish in a closed area here. Oh, man. 
I'm liking this. Come on. Someone, come on. There's a hundred fish here. Someone's going to go for it. Come on. Fishy, fishy. Come here. Fishy, 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 fishy. Come on. You don't want to bite. Someone's going to bite. <sighs> Seriously. No fish. There's a hundred fish in front of me that I can see and none of them are going to bite. you got to be joking me. They won't. They won't bite. I'm going to wheel it in there. I can't believe they didn't bite. <laughs> I can't believe they didn't bite. Wow. Maybe I got the wrong lure. I could. I might have the wrong one. The fact that no fish went for that made me think I'm using the wrong lure. So, oh, let me reel it up. So, here, I'm going to do... Let's try a different one. Let's try all three. We'll try this one. <clears throat> okay. So, before... We get to ahead of ourselves. Two contributions came in. First of all, Phil Smokes Crack is here tonight. Welcome, Phil Smokes Crack. I haven't seen you in a bit. $26 tip. Biggest contribution of the night. He says, hey, man, I'm showing some love. It's been a hot minute. Figured you need some uh, some support. He said money. But no, I support. I really like this late night fishing idea. All right, awesome. So Phil Smokes Crack is the top tipper. Jasper, you're, gonna go, you're not going to go see that. You're just going to stay here staring at the doorway but not leaving. <laughs> Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to have to take Jasper out, out of the office. He's, he wants to be stubborn and not, and not go see a cat. So thank you very much, Phil Smokes Crack, because of that. Gunner Glasses. And then Phil's number one gay fan has tipped $1.50. And he says, I'm ready for fishing fun. And he has his lure out in preparation. Ha, ha, ha. So he's going along with the incredibly offensive stereotype that all gays are outwardly flamboyant and over-the-top and sensationalistic. Completely false. It's actually quite insulting that you would say that on my stream. So please stop, but thank you for the tip. <laughs> By the way, I actually found a new cleaning cloth in my closet during the closet clean-out. It was in one of the boxes on the top shelf we didn't get to yet. But I was looking at it this morning because I could actually get in my closet now because we've cleaned it out halfway. And it says on a sticker, it's like, here's what's in the box and cleaning cloth. I was like, cleaning cloth? I need one. And I went in there and there it was. So now I have a new cloth to clean my glasses. Oh my god, it's like amazing. Seriously. It did an insanely good job. I could see everything. Alright, so we're already more than halfway to the Fisherman Hat goal, which is really awesome. Alright, now. I need to convince Jasper to go see Cat. <laughs> I really do. Hold on one second. I'm going to mute the mic, and I'm going to bring him downstairs, and I'll be right back.
Okay, I'm back, everybody. So, sorry, there's a troll here. Let me get rid of him. So, uh, sorry it took so long. I had to fight off uh, three different giant lobsters that came in the house behind my wife. They were chasing her in with their big claws. They were going like this. So I beat them with a the big pan. Okay, anyway. <laughs> let's continue. Let's, uh, let's fish. There's a ton of fish here. I just don't think I had the right lure. We'll try this again. 95%. Not bad. Yes, just ignore them, Derek. Just ignore the nonsense, and I'll take care of it as I see it. Hopefully, we maybe get a moderator here tonight. We'll see. So, this is the lure that sinks, okay? Like, that's the purpose of this lure, is that it sinks. So, then when you pull it up... It looks like a fast-moving little guy. See that? And there... I'm starting to see fish. You gotta think. Right? You gotta think, perhaps, I'll get the attention of one. This thing's bright green. See it? Oh, a fish. Oh, yes! Yes! Now we're talking. That was a beautiful... I definitely switched to the right one. Oh, he's, he's a tough one, I think. He's gonna fight me. Tiring him out. This way now. You're trying to tire the fish. Oh, oh, oh. Damn, he's a tough one. He's probably a big one. He's maybe the biggest one I've ever had. Oh god, he's pulling so hard. I can't re I can't relieve that. He's getting closer. I'm going to have to try to reel him in. I have to. Did we get him? Oh, look at the size of that thing. Oh, shit. Damn, that's a monster. 15-pound walleye. 33.86 inches. He is a beaut. Look at that thing. And by the way, I think I've, I figured out how to reel them in a little bit more effectively. So when you see them moving left or right, you pull your rod in the opposite direction. That forces pull. It makes them tire themselves out. But you don't reel in until the tension is relieved. When the tension is relieved, then you start reeling, reeling, reeling. Because then they get tired out like that. Man, that was a good one. Holy shit. Woo! That's a good start. That's a good sign, huh? That's definitely a good sign. Derek, how dare you remind me that my fisherman's beard is half missing? The fish ate it. Look at the, sh the sharp teeth on the fish. Ate it right off my face. <laughs> yes, this is on Game Pass. That's how I'm playing it, on Game Pass. Uh, pfft, shout out to Haitian Men Weekly, who to the $1.50 and says, we're here to confirm your subscription publication. Now, typically, just so you know, typically, a magazine publication would not tip someone to confirm a subscription. However, they're that desperate for the business. Uh, sadly, no, I did not subscribe, so you, you got the wrong guy. You might want to go check out Rich from Viewtech USA. He probably is interested. Okay. <clears throat> there you go. <clears throat> All right, here we go. All right, now the slow reeling. It worked well. Let's try it again. Already we got, look, there's the fish. There's tons of fish. Whoa! Damn, he was going right for it. Oh, come on. Damn. I lost my opportunity. Melvin did another super chat. He said, what's the biggest fish you ever caught in real life? Never caught any big fish. The, the biggest fish I caught was probably a big, a big sunny. Here's these fish that are about this big. And they're very, like, metallic, shiny on the outside. And they're actually yellowish, goldenish. That's why they're called sunny, because they think, oh, it's like they, were, they look like the sun. They reflect the sun. Um, we used to go sh fishing in a, a lake called Lake Lilanoa in Connecticut. That's a freshwater lake. And those were primarily the fish that would be in there. And those are usually what I caught. That's the only one that I can remember that I actually caught. Uh, we, and we caught a bunch of those. That's what we used to do, so... Um, so they were small, very small. Never caught any big fish. Never did any, any serious fishing. It was usually just an opportunity for my dad and I to kind of chill together, you know? 
<clears throat> so thank you, Melvin. And I just received a $27 tip from Bassmaster, who says, I love the game, Phil. What do you mainly mix with tequila? Um, if I were to drink tequila, I usually would get a margarita. So, you know, it depends on where you go because different restaurants have different margaritas available. I've had, geez, I've had mango margarita, more standard, which I think is more lime and citrus. I've had pomegranate margaritas. I've had all kinds of margaritas. Yeah. So thank you to Bassmaster, who is now the top tipper with a $27 tip. That gets us up to $80 in tips. We are 20 bucks away from the Fisherman Hat already. Excellent. Thank you all so very much. Melvin did another super chat. He said, will you play the Splinter Cell remake? I will. Uh, likely yes. Likely it'll it'll be something on my radar. By the way, you know what I totally forgot to do tonight, guys? I forgot to change it over to Aquatic Colors. We gotta have Aquatic Colors if we're gonna be fishing, man. Hold on a second. Okay, and my border. There we go. Now we're nice and blue. Ready for nice fishing. Okay, let's continue. 98%. That's a damn good one. Oh! Dude, the... F <laughs> it just went in the water. The fish almost grabbed it. That was pretty crazy, actually. Oh! Perfect strike! Alright, let's see what we can do here. Oh, wow! No, I can't get it. He broke it. He's gonna break it. Dude, that was the toughest fish ever. He 100% just snapped my line. I didn't even have an opportunity to reel him in. So that had to be a badass fish. Yeah. God damn. I wonder what kind of fish that was. Oh, shit, I fucked up. Another... Dude, they're going right for it. Look at that. Whoa. Yeah, that was a, a terrible cast. So it was all fucked up. Derek, I also like the name Sunday Night Bites. I think it's awesome. <laughs> Quandale says, Why don't you buy a variety pack of lures? Then the top contributor could actually choose which lure to add to the hat. We'll have to see. Again, I haven't been out there. This is just an idea that came up over the course of this last week. I haven't been to a, a an outdoorsman's or, or a sports store or anything yet. You know, I have to see what's available, and we'll go from there. All right? But that's a good idea, and I thank you for that. See what I can find. I don't want to get anyone too ex ultra excited about me doing a particular thing, and then I go to the store, and they don't have anything good. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's a sporting goods store I know called Dick's. But there's a few other stores around here that also sell very similar things. Um, and Or have departments for it. Oh! Here we go. Okay, this one's way... Oh, landing chance already! Ha! Oh! A little guy. <laughs> I got a little fishy. You hold him with one hand. A spotted bass. Ooh, look at the colors on that cute little baby bass. <laughs> the game made fun of you. That's amazing. The game makes fun of you when you catch a small fish. Dude, that's hilarious. Dude, that is absolutely hilarious. <laughs> they get a nice razzing. All right, so Simon has tipped me $1.50. He says, Castlevania Symphony of the Night is a direct sequel to Castlevania Rondo of Blood. Castlevania Rondo of Blood plays like classic Castlevania. It must save the kidnapped women to get a good ending. You can go back to any level at any time to find them. So another interesting premise. Isn't it interesting how every Castlevania game had like a unique twist to it that made it a little different than the last game? That is pretty neat. Thank you for the tip. Um, and then Melvin, then another super chat. He says, looks like it would be a good Switch game. Are there any losers restreaming you? It's messed up that they do that. I'm sure. I don't care. But I'm sure there are, and I'm just, I'm not going to talk about it. I don't, I don't waste time talking about losers, you know? Thank you. Okay, Melvin, you're still the, the latest super chatter up there. Okay. Captain DCW, yeah, you did miss a lot. How long have you been gone? Because we've done so much. Closet clean-out events, new setup improvements, all, new new entire ideas for streams. Yeah, there's a lot going on. It's actually been quite good. Even though it's a dead summer for games, thank goodness that, uh, you know, the viewing audience here is very smart, and they, th they help me to think of some good ideas. <clears throat> all right, here we go. Ready? The 
fish love this lure. So I definitely picked the right one. Oh, this one right there. Come on. Come on. Nah, I'm too close. Let me, let me cast it again. <clears throat> 94. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, I will. Scallop Potatoes made a good point. I should reiterate in the rules of the stream is to not bring up any kind of idiotic content out there. You know, that includes trolling, restreamers, their videos are bullshit. No one cares. Please don't bring it up. Thank you. <clears throat> Always good to reiterate. Are we having a lantern fly issue? No, to my knowledge, no. I don't think we've had any issues with lantern flies, no. We haven't had any insect issues, really. Oh. Perhaps I should put... Hold on. You guys think I should put the leaderboard on the top? I'm trying to remember what I did last week. Let's try something. <clears throat> How about that? That looks a little better, doesn't it? I don't think that's blocking anything now. That looks better, I think. Okay. Oh, shit! Oh! Nice. Let's reel them in. Slow reeling. Tire him out, tire him out. Oh, he's fast. He's not too strong, but he's fast. Little guy, I think. Oh my god, never mind. He's huge. He's white. Look at this one. A white bass. Four pounds, six ounce, 21 incher. Wow. He's a, a big boy. Very nice. I am definitely off to a good start tonight, aren't I? Holy shit. Thank you very much. Now, NDO has just to me $25. And with that, it is official. We have earned the fisherman's hat for the week. So if this were another week, I would have put on a lure right now for you guys. But I don't have any right now because we just came up with the idea in the last few days. Okay. So, let's time for the fisherman's hat. Here we go. It fits perfectly, by the way. It's really nice. <laughs> cool. So, like I said, what I would have done is I would have taken a lure and added a lure to the hat around this brim. There's a nylon rim around it. And we would have had one there. And every week, if we hit this goal for the hat, I'll just add lures. Sound good? And like you said, if I could find maybe a variety pack, because they might have a variety pack, like, at a store, maybe I could buy a pack of multiple ones and someone could choose what's in there. Yeah, we could do that. We'll see. Okay. Very nice. Derek says, are there any songs you liked, but when you listen to them now, you don't like them anymore? Oh, I'm sure. I used to listen to all kinds of terrible music. Limp Biscuit. Oh, now you listen to Limp Biscuit. <laughs> oh, my God. I can't believe they called it music. It's so bad. But I used to listen to that shit all the time, you know? Terrible shit from the late 90s. Okay. All right. All right, ready? Cast again. <clears throat> Crazy Town. All right, I did listen to Crazy Town. Oh my God, I didn't do anything. I didn't even do anything. <laughs> what is going on today? The fish are abiding for sure. Holy crap, man. Oh, oh, oh. I don't want to strain it. No, no, no. Come on. Okay. No, no, no. Come on. Don't strain. Oh, we're tiring him. We're definitely tiring him out. At first he was fighting. Now he's not fighting that much anymore. Oh, he jumped! Landing chance, ready? Oh, no, I lost it. I lost the landing chance. He lost... He left the area. Here we go. Oh, shit. Yes! Yes! Another big boy. That's not a white bass, is it? That's a regular bass? Large mouth bass. records with that one. But it's Four. a solid keeper. Cha-chunk, cha-ching. Cha-chunk. Cha-ching. 
Cha chunk. Cha ching. I love it. I love it. God damn. Very nice. So I got surprised that the noobs in chat probably don't realize the name Dark Side Phil came from a Crazy Town song, which it actually did, I know. It's a stupid story. Okay. <laughs> Derek said maybe because it's raining. You know, you're right. Now, I've never played a fishing game before. Not once. Okay? This is the first fishing game I've ever played. But I've fished in so many other games, and some of them claim that the fish bite a lot more when it rains. Maybe it's true. Maybe there's something to this. Right? Okay. Whoa, 99%. Can you get any more perfect? I wonder if you can get a perfect 100. But 99 is pretty freaking good. SD Chargers did a super chat saying, The lanternflies are an invasive species from Asia. They're killing all the crops and multiplying at an unprecedented rate in the U.S. Kill them on site. I've never even seen one, so I don't even know what they would be, but I haven't heard about this here, so I don't think it's an issue here. <clears throat> oh, there's no fish anymore. They're gone. Look, I think we got to move the boat. Eh, there's a couple right there. Oh, shit, they were right there. Darn it. <laughs> oh, he went for it, and I pulled it up like an idiot. He was going to bite it, too. Oh, let's try again. Yes, Derek says, yes, multiple games such as both Minecraft and Animal Crossing said that. Said that when it rains, you can catch more fish. <clears throat> okay, here we go again. Oh! This is a tiny fish, isn't it? It sure looked small. Yeah, this is going to go right. Look, zoo. it's tiny. It's itty bitty. <laughs> that, okay, I would say, honestly, that's pretty, that's, that kind of looks like a sunny, only it's much, like, bigger. Like, the sunny, no exaggeration, would be about this big. So, that fish is probably a little bit bigger than a sunny that I used to catch. But, you know, it looked similar to that. It was very yellowish, and it would reflect light, like a metallic sheen to its body, which is really cool. <clears throat> very nice. Okay. So, let's get SD Chargers up on the leaderboard. He's the latest Super Chatter. <clears throat> Thank you, SD Chargers. Okay. Oh, here we go. 99 again. Yoshi all over says he's watching my Uncharted 3 playthrough recently. Now he's watching Uncharted 2 from just this year. He's hoping that I'll play Uncharted 3 again. Maybe I will someday. <clears throat> we shall see. Oh, there was a big fish, but I didn't get his attention. Oh, oh, yes. He's right here. Oh, shit. No! I missed it. Did I get him? Oh, okay. Still bass. All these bass I'm getting today. Is that one of the white mouth again? A white bass, a smaller one. Cool. Very cool. To Jay says, you know I don't care about fishing, but I'm watching this and I love it. <laughs> well, I'm glad I'm glad you feel that way. Um Again, this, wow, 99% again. I'm getting good at this. I, uh, I enjoy... Oh! <laughs> what is happening tonight? What on earth? This might be a new world record, the amount of fish caught in one, one outing at this rate. My contact Guinness. This seems like a fighter. Oh, this is a fighter. This is definitely a fighter. I'm trying to be as calm as possible and just slowly reel him in. Just slowly reel him in. He jumped. Here we go. Ready? Oh, shit. Yes. Another big boy. Damn. Flippity flop. What do you got? What did he say? Did he say flip flop? What do you got? <laughs> Is that what he said? <laughs> What the hell? Whatever that means. All right, very nice. Here's all over. So sadly, I never actually fished before. I hope to someday. That'd be nice. It's, it's relaxing. 
It really is. It's a relaxing thing to do. So, Quan Hill says, "Did you set up your Twitter so you can tweet so you can I did not. I have to. I would have to figure out how you set up the Twitter to link to the Xbox so I could screen capture and send to. It. I don't have any of that in place right now. No. Dak Brown says, "You know, I'm not into fishing or I'm not a fisherman, but this is entertaining. All right, I'm glad to hear that." Derek says, "Follow you down or Gorilla Radio? Uh, probably Gorilla Radio. <clears throat> if I had to choose, they're completely different kinds of songs, though." Whip flop, what do you got? Sounds like my new catchphrase. 98%. <clears throat> Rage Against the Machine fell off, did they? I mean, I haven't heard any of their shit from the, since the 90s! <laughs> Dude, this is insanity right now. We might have found, literally, the best fishing spot in history. Look at this. Oh my god! He's a little guy. A t not even a pound, only a 14 ounce here. Damn. This is just insanity. And keep in mind, I didn't set it up to do this. It just, it, it simulated this by itself. So, keep going. How many fish did I catch so far? Already I've caught like twice as many fish as I, my entire stream last week. Oh! I'm not even reeling in the lure, and I'm catching fish. This is nuts. I think this is a perfect example of just having the right equipment is what you need. I'm using the correct sinker lure for this river, and, and there it is, it's working. This guy's tougher. This guy's way tougher. I might have to, to weaken this one a bit. Got him. Damn. A one pound, 11 ounce here. White bass. Damn. This is going to be like a ton of money if you sell these, or I guess you could eat for like months. As many fish. I hope you like fish. 99%. I know, Derek says, last week I didn't even catch anything in the whole first hour. This is the opposite. So if I don't touch anything, will a fish bite it like last time? <laughs> Uh, they're not nearby this time. No, nope, they're not nearby at this time. So, I'm not going to get anything this time, I don't think. Nope. Nope. Darn. Try again. Oh, look. Look at the radar. The fish have moved on, according to this. I think it might be time to move the boat. Well, oh, wait, wait, wait. Now shows more. Eh. Oh, man. All right, let's try one more time, because now I'm showing fish again. <clears throat> What's the biggest fish I caught so far? That one earlier, the very first one tonight, the one that had the sharp teeth. Whatever, oy! Whatever that one was, that was a good one. And uh, I can't remember what kind it said it was, though. Oh, walleye. It was a walleye. Yeah. Definitely a tougher one. Little guy. This is just a little guy. There we go. Yes. Never mind. Mid-size. Not bad. To white bass. Keep in mind, if we go to different... Uh, rivers and lakes, they may have completely different fish. So what I'll probably do is fish in this one till we are about halfway through the stream, and then I'll probably go to a different location and see if we can catch different kinds of fish. Was there ever in shows like The Voice, America's Got Talent, American Idol, oh! or X Factor? Um, I've watched them all. Uh, I saw oh, I saw the entire first season of The Voice. And maybe a little bit more after that of other seasons. But usually, I think it was just the first season I watched the most of. Um, American Idol I've watched several seasons of back in the day. Um, America's Got Talent. Yes, I, I primarily watched that show around the time. It was Piers Morgan. And then as soon as he left, it was Howard Stern. And I was watching around then. But that was the last time I watched it many, many years ago. And then 
Uh, X Factor. I don't know if I've ever watched X Factor. I don't think so. It's more of a British thing, isn't it? Do I remember Clay Aiken? No, I did not watch the original seasons of American Idol. I think he was the runner-up in season one. So I never really saw him perform or anything. Okay. Huh. Damn, I just realized we caught so many fish. We may end up having a lot of money and be able to, like, buy new lures and stuff. It claims there's a big-ass fish. Look, I don't know what it is. I'm probably too high up for it. Try again. There we go. Oh my god! It's giant! Did you see the size of that? I didn't get it though. It went away. Shit. That ginormous. Oh, look at this thing! Did you see its face? It looks like a, a flute. <laughs> the flute face fish. I want this one. It's super unique. I want this one. Oh, he's tough. He's a fighter. Got him. Look at this thing. Whoa! Holy shit. What a finned freak of nature. Long nose gar. He called it a thin freak of nature. <laughs> it's crazy. Look at that thing. Oh my god, can you believe that? That's exist? That's real. That's a real creature. God damn. What does it do with that nose? Yeah. <clears throat> Cheetah Man says, wow, the announcer's so mean. That's a cute fish. <laughs> it's awesome. It's, it's super unique. Such a cool fish. That was awesome. That's a good one. That's a good catch. I don't, I don't mind missing this catfish if I got a unique one like that instead. All right. Jade says, when God of is out, can I play as Jason? You mean Jason Todd? I'm probably going to play as every character. I'll probably, you know, I think you have to. I think you have to alternate between them. Look at this guy. That's a unique fish. Oh, oh, oh! Shit. He was going to bite it. Ah. Ah, there's a hundred fish out here. Yeah, it's a little one. I think it's an itty bitty. It looks like an itty bitty fish to me. Yup, he's gonna be tiny. Watch. Yup. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh. Very nice. The goatee was fixed. I missed it. His goatee was fixed. I didn't notice. Only Iced Infinite has tipped me five dollars. What's up? How's your night going so far? So far, we caught a ridiculous amount of fish. It's the opposite of last week. We're doing really good, but I think it's because we got lucky and we happen to be in a, in this little dead end of this river slash lake during rain. So it's like the ideal state for fishing. I feel. Oh, I fucked up. That's a terrible, terrible cast. Come on. Oh, he wouldn't get it. See, th here's the thing, and here's why this is funny. This is the ideal state for a fisherman. You would never have this state, because if it was these conditions, this lake would be full of fisher fishermen trying to fish at the same time. All of them would be going after it at the same time. Here, how, how the hell are you in this lake by yourself getting the prime conditions for fishing? That's just insane. Jamie's fighting. Nope, you're not getting away. Another one. So many bass. Mark, yes, we caught a bunch of unique fish. We caught a walleye and this long nose one we just got, and they're, they were huge. Huge fish. Yes. Like I said, after about an hour of playing, we'll switch to a different location so that way it's not the same thing all night. This is crazy. There's caught so many. That 
Oh, he didn't bite. Bite, you freak. Come on. Yeah, come on, baby. Get that fishy, fishy. Yeah. I'm going to bring home a big old fish for dinner. It's not that big. It's kind of small, actually. Oh, yes. I like how the fish teleported into his hand. You saw that, right? It went doo -doo -doo -doo, like out of the water. Said, doo -doo 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 -doo, up into his hand. He must have like Mortal Kombat powers. Canon DCW says you would consider playing Tales of Arise and playing it. It reminds me of Tales of Exilia. If you mean the one from that's the one last year, right? Eh. I don't know. Like originally, it was on my list to play. For some odd reason, I didn't. I don't remember what happened, but I never got around to it. And a lot of people were like, "Eh, it's all right," but they were expecting more. Uh, for me. The RPG of the summer has been Final Fantasy VII, and we are in the end game of that, doing the, starting tomorrow the chocobo grinding and breeding and racing and everything. Um, likely, within a week to a week and a half, we'll be done with Final Fantasy VII, and then we'll have a little bit of freedom. But at the same time, I don't know if we're going to jump into another RPG right away. If we do, it might be a shorter one, like maybe Earthbound, which is on the shorter side. So I guess we'll see. We'll see. What we're not doing is playing Xenoblade Chronicles 3, which is reportedly 140 hours long. Or if you skip all the side content, 80 hours long. Still not doing that. Fuck! I had a thermos in my hand. How was I supposed to strike that fish? It's a little one, by the way. Very small. Look at the size, tiny. See, that's about the size of the sunnies I used to catch. Yep, that's about accurate. That was probably the sunnies that I used to catch with my dad. Here they're called a white crappie. But uh, yeah, that's about the, the correct size. <clears throat> yes. Ugly Sonic says, I don't recommend Xenoblade Chronicles 3. It's amazing, but it would not be a good fit for streams. I didn't think so. I think it's too, it's too... It probably has a lot of grinding. And it probably is way too lengthy. That was my, that was my issue with Xenoblade Chronicles 1. I liked the game, but it took so fucking long to make any progress in it. I'd sit there and play for three to four hours... And it's like, I didn't do anything. I got through half of a jungle. You know? That's how it was. Okay, here we go. Slow reeling. Slow, steady reeling. Oh, he jumped. Yo, mine, fishy, fishy. Come here. Yoink. Small. All small ones now. Where's the big ones? Isn't that a cute little fish? <laughs> it is. Throw it back. It's too small. Throw it back. I know Earthbound has a ton of charm. So you remember when I was playing Yakuza 7, Like a Dragon, and some of the enemies were really weird, like dudes in trash bags and guys, you know, covered in lube? Yeah, that's pretty much every enemy in Earthbound. No exaggeration. The enemies in Earthbound are the weirdest you'll ever see in an RPG. They're just so odd. Killer Cups of Coffee. Road signs come alive and attack you. <laughs> Clowns. It's but zombies. Yeah, it really... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. God damn it. Well, I think you guys could tell. There was a blip in my power. It's happening again. See that? So I have a battery backup. Which is why... Yeah, I have a battery backup. <laughs> Which is why it's still recording. But there was a big power blip here. Twice. Damn. So now I have to wait for the power to cycle. It's still, it definitely, everything's still on. My air conditioner just turned back on. Yeah, but there was a big power blip. And turned everything off. You know, I just realized, I don't think it saved anything. I don't think the game saved any of my progress. Shit. If that's the case, I'm really going to be upset. I just had an amazing hour of fishing. <laughs> well... I guess I gotta try to boot the console back up and see what happens. While my router cycles here. God damn it. Why not? Is anything? 
anything here powered? Hold on a sec. There's no power over there. Oh, I think I know what happened. I might have tripped a fuse. Wow. I think so. I think a fuse tripped. And here's why I think that. On one half of my room, the power is on. On the other half, it's off. All the power to my TV, my consoles is all off right now. I can't even turn them on. So what I'm going to do is stop recording, and I'm going to head down to the garage, to the fuse box, and I'm going to see if a fuse tripped. It's very possible. You know, we've had the air conditioners on pretty constantly all summer. It's been so hot. It's very possible that a fuse tripped. And so let me go check that out. I'll stop recording and everything, and hopefully when we come back, everything will be back to normal. All right.